Good morning to the South Island. I hope this finds you all in extraordinary spirits. Um, it's a long road to achieving your goals. One of my goals is to run six half marathons this year. And you're joining me in my morning run this morning, so it's a bit shaky. But the first one's not for another three months. But you've got to get out there every day, put in the prep, get those, get those miles into your legs. Pete will tell you, Trent will tell you, they're runners. Their exercise isn't bike cyclists. They know what it takes to achieve what they need to do. And I guess that's really what I wanted to talk to you about, is starting with the end in mind. I know that you're on your off-site today. That's a well-deserved off-site as well. And I really hope that you enjoy your glasses of wine this evening. But also in Mel's case, once you're three bottles in, you think about what it was that took you to get there. You started with the end in mind. You delivered a really good result on the Christchurch book. And I'm really proud of you and the team and Pete for his leadership. You've done a great job, thank you. Everybody went over and above with that book and it wasn't easy. But you started with the end in mind. You set your goal. You worked out what it was you had to achieve, how you were going to achieve it, when you were going to achieve it. And those small actions every day that you were going to do. Very much like my running. If I don't get out here on a wet Thursday morning, I'm not going to get around the marathon course in the time that I want to. And I damn well will, because I'm a stubborn bastard. And that's what I intend to do. And that's what I'm looking for from you as a team. These people that know what their goals are, know where they're going. We've got you 12 appointments a week now. And 12 appointments a week is a very doable number. What you can do is you can have your own, own ideas about what you want to do with your patch. It's your business. In the case of the DMCs, it's your business. Get out there and smash it. Own local. For the cams, what a wonderful job you've got. I think it's a fantastic opportunity to take yellow to all of our existing customers. But with just 12 appointments a week, it gives you the opportunity to go out and really plan properly, do really good meetings, and do the follow-up really well, and get the next stage, and get that billing and that revenue in. Start with the end in mind. What's your mission statement? What's your team's mission statement? What's your personal mission statement? What I'd encourage you to do is to have a business one and a personal one. I have always got a mission statement on the go. My ones at the moment are to achieve target for Yellow, to become the most engaged team, not only within Yellow, but within New Zealand. It's achievable, we can do it, we do it together, and I start with the end in mind, which is what I'm doing. My personal ones, run six half marathons this year. The other one, move to Devonport. I'm moving to Devonport, I'm well on the way. It's not about me, it's about you, this video. And what I want you to do is to go out, get your 12 appointments a week, build your pipeline, get your pipeline right up there. Once your pipeline's up there, everything else will start to flow. Three to one cover is the minimum ask. That means if you've got a 30K business target, you need to have 90K in the bin to make sure that you deliver on that. And every single one of you's got the opportunity to do that. I'm not suggesting they're the numbers. I made them up, but three to one cover. For your $2,000 a month in the cam world, you need to have at least six to $8,000 ready to retire. That way you'll get your number every month. And it's important that we report it accurately. It really is. Got a lot of respect for you down there, that team. Good morning, Dunedin. Morning, Christchurch. Morning, Julie. I really have, and I'm very excited about what you can achieve down there. It's your business. Own it. Respect you guys. Choose to be brilliant. Ooh, I've not been down this path before. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna see where it takes me. I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know where we're going. I'm in Cornwall Park, and there's all sorts of little routes everywhere. It's amazing. I'm just taking one or two of them where they bring you out. Choose to do things differently. I'm doing this differently from my run yesterday. I didn't come this way, but hey, this is good, actually. Oh, well, it looks like I'm about to build some great relationships with some new friends. It's a bit slippery, but that's okay. Let's take my time, plan properly. Morning, how are you? What was that, 12 appointments? Very good, over there. Morning team, what was that you said? Four to one cover, I'm sure we can do that. Have a great day, Mr. Sheep. 
And lo and behold, it brings me out. It brings me back onto my existing run. And all I've done is added a few extra 100 meters. That's good, actually. Look at that way every day from now on. That's something which I've learned this morning. Cool. One hour 45 for a half marathon. That's what I'm aiming for. I know that's chicken feed to the young bucks like you, Pete. But that's what I'm going after. And if I'm going after it, I'm damn well going to achieve it. Nearly swore then. I am damn well going to achieve it. One hour 45. Hold me accountable, guys. By Christmas, I'll have done it.